Yes, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, tankers of Blitz Universe to the channel. My name is Martin Dugger and today I have two subscriber replays for you. One of, the, one of them is going to be in uh, this tank, the Chiefs of Mark VI. And the other one is in the brand new Object 84. And this is uh, this replay has been sent in, as you can see, by Help Immerberg, uh, one of the subs that regularly sends in, in replays. And uh, this is a cracker of a game. A cracker of a game at Yamato Harbor. He's uh, well and truly top tier. There's only two tier 9 tanks on both of the teams, as you can see. No platoons, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, premium tanks, which is uh, in a way interesting. I mean, tier 8 and 7 are just filled to the brim with uh, premium tanks. But uh, let's see what he can do in this little uh, UFO type of tank. And it kind of looks like, as you can see... It kind of resembles the T92E1 as well. At least that's what I think. It, it is. It has the same type of armor profile with that rounded uh, or, or rounded turret shapes and that, that 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 angled front plate. And the Object 84 gets miraculous bounces as well. Uh, same as the T92E1. It's really really troll. Obviously, this tank has the uh, ability to shoot somebody and then they will be spotted for 20 seconds on the minimap, which is all well and good. What is not so good is what is happening here. As you can see on the minimap, the team is kind of spreading out. Uh, the heavies are not really pushing in, and the red team is flanking quite hard. And there is uh, this uh, tank right over there, the defender, who is thinking he is called attacker. As you can see, he's already dead now. Uh, it took him a bit more than a minute, which is in a way... Um, a good thing normally by this time half the team uh, is already dead and here buggy makes a bit of a misplay maybe in hindsight obviously it's very easy to tell oh you should have done this and you should have driven then and you shot this pixel because there's this little gap between the builders and then blah 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 in hindsight guys i mean in hindsight everything is easy but this, uh, this water breaker is uh, down to, yeah, one shotable for most of the red tanks. And Buggy is gonna lose quite a bit of HP in this upcoming, uh, in this upcoming encounter. Because there's a Mr. Lerva Lerva, there's a Tiger 2 Savage, he gets a low roll as you can see on the Tiger 2. Gets shot to by uh, the other tank, uh, I think that's the uh, Chieftain. And he's gonna get shot again for basically what you know you know i mean the water break is dead anyway and you can see in terms of hit points he's down to 644 and there's a waffle over here which means that he can be one shotted by the waffle it is two versus six at the moment um he has to go behind this building so he can uh, be safe from everybody who's shooting him gets a bounce on the back of the turret now or on the back plate of the tank from the Progetto, bit lucky. He's gonna shoot the Progetto there while the Progetto misses and he takes him out. But you can see it is a one versus four now. Very brief one versus five. Object 84 on that flank. One bounce already. Notes, guys, one bounce already. Here we go, three, two, one. This, you know, back plate, front plate, ricochet. That's the most annoying shed to uh, find basically. There's a lot of sheds, tool sheds are fine, but ricochets, no, really bad. Uh, this Chimera is a bit clueless because he's sitting there and he would have had a shot, but he was probably waiting for the perfect pixel. Didn't really work. But Buggy is now up to... Uh, uh, he has to fight a Chieftain and Mr. Lerva Lerva. And uh, Mr. Lerva Lerva is Leroy Clutch from the Elroy clan, or Le Le Leroy clan maybe. Um, and, and this shot goes in. And that means that... If this Lerva rolls high, I think he might just be able to uh, one-shot a buggy over here. And <laughs> bounce number two, miraculously. And uh, the Chieftain has 225 in terms of um, alpha damage on the big gun or on the uh, premium ammo. I should, uh, on standard ammo, premium ammo has 190. And so, yeah, he's, he's in a precarious situation. But he has the light tank ability, obviously. He has the added view range, as you can see. Uh, from this little marker right down there at the bottom and obviously when he shoots and hits an enemy They get spotted for 20 seconds, but take a look at, look at what is going to happen He's going to shoot the uh, lever and then three two one two red tanks popping up He probably didn't think the chieftain would be there because 
If he had known, he would have run away. And he wants to find a traction, doesn't really get it. He has popped the drummer already, doesn't get a traction. Now, 3, 2, 1, there we go. Go, yes, this one goes in. Track, lovely stuff. The Chieftain repasses tracks and gets another bounce off the front plate. He's going to shoot the Chieftain again right into the side. Big highest roll. Chieftain misses. That is really fortunate. Come on, can he finish off the Chieftain? Of course not. Leaves him on three hit points. <laughs> three hit points. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yes, kill the Chieftain. Then the turret pops, stays into the mid air a little bit, and then he is. Being hampered by that uh, turret by the gun barrel, gets a shot into the lever. Mr. Lover Lover tracks him in place and then. Oh no! Disaster strikes BS, he says. Yeah, I feel for you, buddy. This is really upsetting, as you said in, the, in your email, but some of the bounces in the end were just. Yeah. Out of this world. Troll arm on the object 84, but it, it was maybe the, the, the biggest mistake you if, if you could say so was was trying to uh, to save the water break it just didn't help uh, help out and but as said guys this is in hindsight but then again Jeps look at this five kills he uh, nearly managed to finish the uh, finish of the mr. Lerber Lerber and he's done 5,000 damage really upsetting loss we're going to go to the next one, East O6 in the Chieftain Mark 6. And he's going to do one thing, he's from the uh, Voice Clan, VO1CE Clan. He's going to do one thing already, which is really nice. He's going to raise a gun barrel, salute the team. I love to do that as well. Typical uh, skill for L2U. I've nicked that from him, obviously, but I do it now too. And it's fun to see, guys, somebody ra raising their gun and everything. It looks kind of stupid, but oh well. Anyways. Easty finds himself on, well, what is it again? Uh, New Bay. Um, look at this E50. Look at this E50 go. Boom! <laughs> oh, this is not a very happy leopard. Frankie the... What's it? I don't know. What, what, what's, that, what's that guy? Um, F in the chat for the leopard, guys. <laughs> okay, one tank taken out. Um, at least by the by uh, eat uh, by easy over here one tank taken out by the red team And you can see that the other leopard who's sitting right over there is shitting his pants Seven colors have pulled right in his uh, in his pants and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not looking good But easy is not going to despair. He's not going to give up He is going to go forward. He has shot the projector once he wants to shoot this object 84 there he Manages to shoot the object 84, bounces the shot from the E75. It's going to shoot the object 84 again, is and is then spotted and uh, penetrated as well. You saw that little tracer over there, that golden tracer. Um, but take a look at what is happening, guys. It's one versus one. Both teams have lost uh, one tank. Lucky object 84. But, but keep an eye out on this counter. Honestly, guys, <laughs> this is going to be epic. Great shot into the E75, managed to do a little bit of tracking damage, but the red team is swarming uh, his uh, team, as you can see right over there, because they are losing C cap, they are losing another tank, the IS-7. The projector is getting shot, there we go, with Hash, with HG on the side. This is a nice game, guys, to, to keep watching, basically, and, and figure out why you can penetrate tanks with Hash. But, with two minutes into the game, EC has managed to deal 4,000 damage and the most annoying thing is and the worrying thing is that uh, his team is losing He has dealt 4,419 damage and his team is still losing. They are one tank down. They are two bases down Just yeah, this shot out of this world 424 uh, PC replay probably but still really well aimed uh, well, well, uh, lead and everything. The object 84, Frankie the Pug is down. He's up to nearly 5k damage and his team is still losing. Shoot the grill, 402, 5k damage. He is not done yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Absolutely bonkers game, guys. Misses this shot on the uh, grill, which is a little bit unfortunate. And then he's looking at the, at the Yomama and at the E5 over there. And he's going to finish up the grill. There we go. Nice, lovely stuff. Gonna swing the gun around, and he's managed to at least pull the numbers uh, back up a little bit because it's now four green tanks versus three reds. But the E5 is pushing in on both of his remaining medium tanks. Here comes the Yomama, that's good to know, 283, that means he has a three shot gun. Uh, if he can bounce two shots, then he's going to be golden. Put a shot into the low plate, there we go. Uh, 
your mama misses, that's all well and good, and then he's going to shoot him again, and then your, your mama misses? Or was he maybe shooting the, the, the waffle? That could well be. Then again, you can actually penetrate the sides of this tank with hash. Take a look at this. 3, 2, 1. There we go. Nice one. Uh, your mama is on the reload. E5 has taken out the leopard. That's not good to see. Then uh, the E5, I think, is going to take out the object 140 as well. But this tank is now down the Yo Mama. But the rest have got three bases. So, yeah. You've done 8k damage. And reds are still in the lead. You still haven't won. You've dealt 8k damage. And you ain't seen nothing yet. He's not done. Yet. Three bases for reds. E5 takes out the object 140. One shot into the E5. Here we go, guys. Farm some more. Farm some more. Farm some more. Lower plate. Boom. Bounce a shot from this E5. And he has been frontlining it all along, guys. This was not a farming fiesta. Another one into the lower plate. There we go. And <laughs> he's up to 9.2k damage. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Can we get some more? Can we get some more? Yes. Of course we can. There we go. There we go, and, and this E5 was running that, uh, what is it, that radiation shield or whatever, so he is not, he has not been killed yet, and he loses the game. He's dealt 9,748 damage. Or 45, but still, 231 HP left on this projectile. 2,115 base XP, and that's without capping a base. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. What a game. I have no words, really. Honestly, I have no words for this game, guys. This is, this is insane. Easy. Thank you very much for sending that one in. Buddy, I feel for you. Must have been the game of your life, but... Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Martin Dugger. I'll catch you all on the next video. Cheers, happy tanking. Bye-bye.